Hi, my Beatitudes friends. I'm Cami, and I'm super excited to be teaching your class again today. So we're doing another limited mobility class. So most of this class, 95% of it's gonna be in the chair. I've got one little sit and stand that you can do some modifications, but we're gonna keep this to a limited mobility. So I'm not even gonna use hand weights today, but if you have hand weights, you can use them and I'll cue you when to use those, or you can just use a closed fist and do it for range of motion. I do have a ball and a flat therapy band that I will be using, and of course a chair. All right, so I'm gonna sit down and we're gonna start out in this chair. And like I said, I've only got one standing exercise for you today. So we'll put that in with our warm up, but we're gonna move some body parts first. All right, so I want you to have a seat. If you've been reclining back against your seat back, I want you to scoot forward a little bit. I don't want your back to be resting against that seat back. I want you to zip up that spine, just nice and tall as can be. I want you to pull that belly button in. That's gonna hold your belly, you're gonna hold your abs in, okay? And we're gonna march, right and left, right and left. Right and left, in. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Slow it down. Right and left, right and left, right and left. Good. Give me eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Double time. Right, left, right, left. Breathe. Good. Keep it going for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Heel to the front. Heel and in. Heel and in. Good. All right. You got your rhythm. Roll your shoulders. Roll. 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 Four more. Four. Three, two, and one. March it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here. Roll your shoulder forward. Roll it forward. This is way too hard to do with the heel. That's confusing. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. March it out for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Heels to the front with a push. 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 We're waking up those shoulders. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Arms overhead. Up. Up. Good. Exhale. Good. Four more. Four, three, two, one. March it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Right leg out, out, and in. Left, out, and in. Right, out, out. You got it. Here we go. Right, left, right, left. Good, you got your rhythm. Okay, we're moving and grooving in our chair. Okay, four more. Four, and out. Three, and out. Two, and out. One more, one, and out. March in the middle for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here. Bend those elbows and lift them to the side. It's lift and pour and bring it in. Lift and pour and bring it in. Lift and pour and bring it in. Add the heel. Heel, heel. Oh, I sped it up. Good, lift, lift. Four more. Four, three, two, and one, hold it here. Bring those arms out 
Can you do some little circles? Good. Sit up tall. Give me four. Four. Three. Two. One. Reverse your circles. Good. Oh, feel it in the shoulders. For four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Okay, we're going to hit that sit and stand right now. So, grab your chair if you need to. Try and do it without your hands. You can put your hands on your legs. We're going to come all the way up to standing. Can you do that? Woo! Tall spine. Can you reach? Oh, that feels good. All right. All the way down. Sit right back into that chair. We're only going to do four of these, so we got three more to go. Okay, tighten those abs. Push down through those heels. Come on up to standing. Straighten those legs. Take those arms overhead. Big reach, big reach. Straighten everything. Okay, bring it down. Nice and slow. We're going to sit. Whew, we got two more. We want to straighten it all up. Do the best you can. Push all the way up to standing. Straighten those knees as best as you can. Reach, 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 reach. Good. Bring it down. All right. All the way to the chair. You can make some modifications. If you need to just turn this into a squat, you can. Or if you just want to straighten the arms over your head and stay seated, you can. But we've got one more. Are you with me? Come on. All the way up. Oh, straighten those knees. Extend those arms up as tall as you can. Bring it down. And go ahead and have a seat. Nice. Let's bring that right arm across and the left hand is going to pull it in. We're going to stretch those shoulders. We've certainly woke them up. Good. And go the other way. Bring that left arm across your body and your right hand pulls it in close. Just kind of deepening that stretch. Good. All right. Let's take that right hand up. Pat yourself on the back. Take two fingers. Push that elbow up. Oh, we're stretching all these back muscles. <sighs> Breathe. Good. And release that other side. Left hand up. Pat yourself on the back. Take two fingers. Push that elbow up. Good. Oh, stretching the back. That feels wonderful. And release that. Oh, shake it out a little bit. Okay. So our first section, now you've got a choice of hand weights if you want. I'm going to leave this without hand weights, all right? So that's your option. You can bump it up and grab some hand weights to do this. I'm going to show you how we do this just for range of motion. We're starting out, since we've warmed up those shoulders, we're going to do something called an Arnold press. And yes, it's named after Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I did not make that up. Okay, sit up tall, feet flat on the floor, nice little lap there. How's your spine? Zip it up, sit up tall. Okay, we're gonna make a fist or we're gonna grab those hand weights and your palms are facing you, okay? So knuckles are facing me, your palms are facing you. If you wanna stick your thumb out, you can. You can help with the direction. So you're gonna be about chin height. What I want you to do is rotate. You're gonna open these arms up to a goal post, like a football goal post, just like this. Then we're gonna push it overhead. They're not touching at the top. They're staying this width apart. Then we're gonna drop the elbows, bring it back to goal post, and then we're gonna rotate from the shoulders back in with your pinkies together in the middle, okay? All right, that's the whole move. I'm gonna show you how it looks. We'll go slow. Ready, here we go. Open, press, bring it down, rotate in, come on. Open, press, bring it down, rotate in. There's eight. Open, overhead press, bring it down, rotate in for seven. Open, overhead press, bring it down, rotate in for six. Open, overhead press, bring it down, rotate in for five. Open to a goal post, overhead press, bring it down, 
for four, open, press, bring it down, for three, open, press, bring it down, for two, we've got one more, open, press, bring it down, rotate in, oh, beautiful, how's that feeling? Okay, we're still gonna work those shoulders, but we're gonna give our arms a break. So we're coming back to an exercise in just a minute. Let's switch to a leg exercise. So I want you to straighten that leg. Now, if you've got weight, you can put your weight right above your knee and add some resistance to this because we're gonna take that leg straight up. If your balance isn't that great, leave the weight alone, hold your chair for balance but keep those abs tight. Now, where's your posture? Find that tall spine, and we're gonna lift that straight leg. Flex your foot. It's lift and down. Give me four. Four and down. Exhale, three, squeeze those abs. Down, two, and down. One more like this. One and down. Can you go a little faster? Up and down. And down, give me eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, are you feeling that kind of in the inner thigh? That's where I'm feeling it. All right, we're switching legs. Now again, if you have a weight, you can hold it right here above your knee if you want some added resistance. I'm gonna do this with no weight, because I've already taught two classes today. All right, your foot is flexed. If you feel more secure, hold your chair with your hands. Here we go, lift it slow and down. Give me four, four and down. Exhale three and down. Exhale two, abs and hip down. One more like this, one, and down a little faster. Up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh man, okay. Whew. While our legs are resting, we're gonna go back to the arms. So zip those abs up, sit up tall, Arms are by your side. Weights are optional. If you have light weights, we're gonna take those arms right out to the side. You may not want weights with this. I'm gonna make a, a fist and we're gonna keep our arms straight. We're not gonna lift it any higher than shoulder height, but get that chin off your chest, sit up tall. Here we go. Lift it up, hold, and down. I want you to feel your back squeezing together, your shoulder blades. Eight, hold and down, lift seven, hold and down, lift six, hold down, lift five, hold down, you can do it, four, hold down, three, hold down, lift two, hold down, one more, one, Hold and down. Oh, fantastic. Roll those shoulders. Okay, we're going to use our ball next. So it's not mandatory, it's a suggestion, but I wanted to bring in something else for us to use. So grab your ball. Okay. So we're still forward in the chair. I want both hands on that ball. We're gonna work the back of our arms and we're gonna do some tricep extensions. So, your hands are on that ball, or if you have a hand towel that you can kind of fold up or roll up, that would work too. All right, we're gonna take those arms over our head and bend your elbows, take it behind and straighten, behind and straighten, here we go, bend, there's eight, bend for seven, bend 
for six, bend for five, bend for four, bend for three, sit up tall, bend for two, one more, behind the head, and one, whew. All right, let that back relax for just a moment because we're gonna do a little combo. We're doing arms, back, legs, everything at once. We're gonna do a straight arm jackknife. So it's using opposite sides of our body. So we're incorporating an exercise we just did with the first set. So what I want you to do is keep that ball in your left hand. I want you to straighten your right leg. With that right hand, I want you to hold the chair for stability. We're gonna take this arm up. Okay, we're gonna keep the arm straight. We're gonna keep the leg straight. We're gonna lift the leg, drop the arm, and in theory, we're gonna meet right in the middle. You don't have to touch. We just wanna get it close somewhere. Okay, we're working the abs with this one. All right, here we go. Touch and open, touch and open, touch, touch. Four, three, two, and one. Not bad. Okay, let's give that side a break. Let's go to the other side. Flex that foot. Left leg out. Right arm up over the head. Sit up tall. Ready? Meet in the middle. Touch and open. Touch and open. Touch. Touch. Four more. Four. Three. Two, and one. All right. Okay. Now, I want both hands on that ball. We're going to take those elbows out wide, and we're going to press in on that ball. Sit up tall. All right. Here we go. Push, release. Push, release. Push, push. Here we go. Eight, seven, Six, five, use the chest. Four, three, two, one. Hold that press, hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, let's swap this for a band. Beautiful. Okay, now I want you to have a nice lap going on in front of you. I want you to hold this band and one hand, each hand is on the knee. That's going to give you about a shoulder width grip on that band, okay? Now, keep your hands on the band and you're going to lift it up on a diagonal, straighten your arms. Okay, lock those elbows out, make it straight. Now, we're gonna pull that band, we're gonna arch the back and drop those elbows down by your sides. So we're gonna work that back. And then we're gonna release it. Pull, pull, release. Pull, pull, release. Give me eight. Eight, release, pull. Seven, hold, release. Six, hold, release, pull. Five, hold, release, four, release, three, release, squeeze it back. Two, release, one more. One, and release, okay. Put those hands on the knees. So we're taking those hands low, arms are straight. And we're gonna pull it from here. Pull. Move from the shoulders. Don't bend your elbows. Good. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, right above the knees. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right. Now we're going to. We're gonna walk the fingers in right in the middle. So you're just your thumb and your forefinger. 
So we're still working the back. I want those elbows, a straight line across your body. Sit up tall, zip up those abs. You're gonna pull from here. And I want you to feel like you're wrapping your shoulder blades around the spine. So we're gonna pull, all work's happening in the back, and then we're releasing. Okay, sit up tall, here we go. Pull, release, pull, pull, pull. Give me eight, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Okay. We're gonna run out of time. I want that band right under your feet and cross it. Okay, we're gonna work those hips. So we did this in the warm up. Right foot's gonna go out. It's out and in. Left foot out. Out and in. Do it again. Right and in. Left and in. Watch those abs. Right and in, left, and in a little faster. Right, left, right, left. Give me eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, let's carefully take that band off. I gotta start my cool down already. Okay, let's just put that under the chair. Ooh, how's our breathing? Hopefully not too hard. Heart rate's not too high. Oh, beautiful. Let's roll those shoulders and roll them forward. Okay, let's do some stretching. Lace those fingers together. Make a circle with your arms around your back. Now that we've done some strengthening, I want you to pull those shoulder blades away from the spine. And the only way to do that is to include this in your circle. Round that back, make it part of your circle. Good. And release, sit up tall. Now I want you to open those arms next to you. Roll the thumbs back, roll the head back. Good, we're stretching the front side of the body. Keep breathing and release that. Okay, take that right arm across your body. Your left hand is gonna pull it in and deepen the stretch. Okay, keep breathing. And release that, let's go the other way. Left arm across, right arm pulls it in. Good. Okay, right hand up. Remember this one, we're gonna pat ourselves on the back. Two fingers, oh, should be a little easier this time. Pressing that elbow up to the ceiling, our muscles are all warmed up. Good, stretches the tricep and your back muscles. Bring it down, other side, up and over, pat yourself on the back, two fingers, push it up. Good, breathe, keep your chin up, and release that. Arms come out wide, thumbs down to the ground, we're gonna press those palms towards the back wall. Good, all right. Okay, we're gonna try and get our glutes. So, one ankle over one knee if you can. Get as close as you can. If you have to cross your ankles, that's okay. We're gonna stretch that lower back in our glutes. I want you to sit tall. You're gonna tilt your pelvis forward, keeping your head up, looking at me. Drop that belly button in the opening that your legs make and breathe. Deep breath in, blow it out your mouth. One more time, blow it out. Good, all right. Can we go the other way? If you can only cross your ankles, that's okay. All right, I'm gonna get my knee up here, just in case y'all can. Sit up tall. Tilt your pelvis forward, keeping a flat back. Keep looking at me. Good, deep breath in, blow it out. One more time, deep breath in, blow it out. Good, oh, that's my favorite stretch. 
Okay, so heels on the floor. Let's rotate those wrists and go the other way. Give me a deep breath in, arms up overhead, and exhale. One last time, deep breath in, and exhale. Oh, fantastic job. Give yourselves a hand for doing such a great job today. Thanks for joining me. I really enjoy teaching you guys. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.